All right, Lieutenant Jahan. I have read your field report concerning the situation at Drinkara, and I don't believe a word of it. That's understandable, sir. Is there anything you seek clarification on? You were assigned to a joint task with the Drelk, Humans, and Sorosians, is that correct? Y yes sir. The Drelk and the Humans made the bulk of our light and heavy infantry, and the Sarkosians were mostly admin and medical. The Drelk size made them ideal with mobile artillery platforms, and the Humans used their artillery fire as both weapon and shield. They... I know how to use artillery, Lieutenant. Don't teach your grandpa how to suck polyps. What I want to know is what happened on the canyon offensive. It says here you gained victory by Fubar. What is Fubar? Oh, that, sir. Uh, you have to understand the situation. What situation? Well, the humans, sir. They aren't quite right in the head. I'm aware of the intelligence of the humans. They seem to bound right around galactic average in technology and government. Oh, I don't mean they are stupid, sir. I mean, they aren't quite right. In the head? Yes, sir. In the head. See, we were surrounded to the planetary north and east. The mountain to the west was a death trap. The highest wires would have picked us off from half a click away. And the refugees were still heading south through the canyon. It was a stalemate. The drill kept the warriors out of the sky and the humans had cleared the forest in front of their bunkers by simple virtual shooting everything and move within their lines of sight. But the highest diggers pinned the drill down, wiped out the entire armor contingent. Why are you pausing, LT? Have you ever seen a drug, sir? The humans say they look like elephants, and I have to agree. The resemblance is striking. They sing to each other, and it is beautiful. Hearing them die... Sorry, sir. <clears throat> the, uh... The drug had been killed, and with them out of the fight, the highest warriors could take back to the skies. If they got airborne, none of the refugees would be making it out the canyon. The humans knew it would be hours before another drug queue could be brought out, so they did the only thing that made sense at the time. They retreated. N no, sir. They charged. Before the warriors could even get off the ground, several hundred humans charged across the killing fields they had made over the last few weeks. The highest workers and warriors had been on the offensive for so long, they hadn't even thought to build defences. The humans' assault tore into them. They fought with guns and knives and fists. When I remembered the screams of the drugs, I joined them. We punched a hole through their lines, destroying as much as we could and spoiling everything else. It might have been minutes. It might have been hours. I don't know. But the call came down that our attack had drawn special attention. The Queen herself was coming down to take direct control over the situation. We all knew what that meant. Royal Guard and an entity capable of warping any sentient mind in her line of sight. And you followed protocol, removing yourself from possible contamination or capture. Correct, sir. Leaving the field will probably be my greatest shame. The humans stayed. They bunkered down in the centre of the enemy lines. They couldn't retreat back across the killing field, not with a queen to coordinate the counterattack. The human commander told me to use a code word, food bar, on the first human I met once I got behind the lines, so I did. And then what happened? The second drought continued and made it to the forward battery by the time I had gotten back there. The human I passed the word to went to the drought commander, within seconds they were firing. Had the humans gotten away? What were they firing at? Sir... The human commander declared their position Fubar. He knew they weren't getting out. He knew this was a possibility to take down the Queen. He called down fire on his own position, ensuring the Queen would be too wrapped up engaging them to pay attention to the skies. We don't know if they took her down or the Drelk, but that one little Fubar maneuver gave us back an entire planet. Fubar, what does it mean? The human I asked refused to tell me, sir. He said it is both an honour and something you only figure out once you're in it. Have you figured it out? I, I believe so, sir. The humans. They aren't quite rudd in the head, are they? I do not believe so, sir.